Warsaw, April 23, 1943. From outside of the city's Jewish ghetto, Poles can hear gunfire and see flames rising through the apartments beyond the wall. It's the fifth day of an uprising in the ghetto, an uprising that has surprised the Poles and shocked the Nazi officers charged with cleansing Warsaw of its remaining Jews. Inside the ghetto, hiding in a subterranean bunker at number 18 Miller Street, the 24-year-old military commander of the Jewish fighting organization, Mordecai Anilevich, scribbles a note to a friend. Things have surpassed our boldest dreams, he writes. The Germans ran away from the ghetto twice. But Anilevich is realistic. I can't describe to you the conditions in which the Jews are living, he continues. Only a few individuals will hold out. All the rest will be killed sooner or later. The battle is a complete mismatch. 2,000 heavily armed German soldiers against 700 untrained Jewish teenagers armed only with pistols and gasoline bombs. Yet this lopsided struggle will last 28 days as a condemned people shakes off despair and embraces defiance in the simple hope of dying with dignity. It will go down in history as the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, the most stirring episode of armed resistance in Nazi-occupied Europe, and an example to future generations of unyielding heroism and courage. The final testament of Mordecai Anilevich is a letter sent earlier in the uprising to his deputy, Yitzhak Zuckerman. Anilevich wrote, Peace go with you, my friend. Perhaps we shall meet again. The main thing is the dream of my life has come true. Self-defense in the ghetto and Jewish armed resistance have become a reality. I have lived to see the magnificent heroism of Jewish fighters in battle. But the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising was just part of the fabric of Jewish resistance. We know today of 63 places where there were resistance groups. We know of roughly 20,000 Jews who fought in the forests. So this is not an isolated case, you see. Wherever they had the opportunity, and in some places where they didn't have the opportunity, they fought. To live with honor and die with honor It was their message to us all They gave their lives for our freedom Through pain and agony Fought for humanity We'll keep their memories 